Okay, Logan, so a returning OAC grade school state champion, mm -hmm. and I like to see that you got the football pads on, but okay, mm -hmm. let's talk about the relationship between football and wrestling and how it's helped you. Is it good for you? Yeah, they both really counter-react with each other and boost them up. So I've been, with wrestling, I've been getting better at football, and with football, I've been getting better at wrestling. So it's all just been helping each other. Okay, what would you say the biggest thing um, you know, as far as wrestling, you know, your state champion wrestling, how has it helped you? You know, you said they counteract one another. What what drills, what things do you do in wrestling that translate directly out onto this field behind you? Well, we do a lot of, like, live wrestling, and we do a lot of drills. So we just, like, we hit a move, then we pop right back up and hit a move. We do a bunch of them out in a place called Chore Club in just a little barn. And then live wrestling, live wrestling for, like, an hour. You guys scrap a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, so you you take some lumps. Is that, is that safe mm -hmm. to say? Yeah. How much does that help you as far as, you know, maybe you get you get blocked, you get lit up in a game here, right? You get hit hard, mm -hmm. but you get right back up because you're used to that in wrestling practice, right? Yeah. All right, who is who do you train with the most? Do you did you say Shore Club? Yeah. Co with Coach Shore? Yeah, I know. I saw the interview on the YouTube video at OAC State. Yeah, Coach Shore's a good guy. Mm -hmm. He's got a kid at Air Force, and then he's got, geez, oh, Pete, he's got a junior a mm -hmm. sophomore and a freshman that are on the, the Miami East team this year, right? Yeah. All right. Do you know where you're going to go to high school yet? Um, Probably Urbana, most gonna, likely. Okay, Urbana. Okay. So when you look at that, you know, it's like you're a state champ in wrestling. You're pretty good at football. All right. How do you, uh, you know, how do you take those things and apply them practically to life and become a better person? Um, well, I don't really know. I just Would you say work ethic? Work yeah, ethic? Mostly work ethic. Yeah? Is, is homework a lot easier? You know, like, if you think about it, you know, applying uh, a, a hard practice at the short club and then going home and hitting the books, right? Yeah, a little easier okay. to hit the books, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? All right, what is Urbana? How's your guys' record so far? And what are you guys doing here at the OAC Football uh, Championship? So far in this tournament, we're 1 0. And in our league, we were 7 and 1. And we've been doing pretty good at this tournament. We just won 32 to nothing. Okay. What's your next game? Is it the championship? Uh, no, we're playing our second game, and it's against Nelsonville, New York. Okay. And if you win, you're in the finals? Yep. And the finals are tomorrow? Yep. All right. Logan, you got anything else for me? Not really. All right. Hey, thanks for the time. Well, good luck to you. Oh, Ross, we, we want to thank another one of my coaches. His name is Ross Thatcher. Ross Thatcher? Ross Thatcher? Mm -hmm. He's the man. Coach Thatcher's the man. He really coached at Ohio State, right? Yeah. He actually coached Kyle Snyder when he beat Nick Gwizdowski in the NCAA Finals. Did you know that? Yeah. Coach Ross is the man, right? Does he got the Crazy Goats Club? Is that his club? Yeah. Yeah, Ross Thatcher's the man. All right, shout out to Coach Thatcher. Yep. All right, Logan, good luck to you guys next game. Keep grinding, buddy. Thank you.